Hi, I'm Bart Beek and welcome to Discover Your Own Backyard for the City of Wyndham. What better place to start this discovery than at the entrance of the Werribee Park Tourism Precinct? Today we are going to explore just a few of the sites in the Werribee Precinct, including the Open Range Zoo, the Mansion Hotel and Spa, and go for a bite to eat and a wine tasting at Shadowfax Winery, which is just up the road. Sounds good? Well, let's get moving and discover what's in your backyard in Wyndham. The first stop in today's discovery is the Werribee Open Range Zoo. When you've got friends and family coming to stay, a day at the zoo is a must. You can spend the night at the zoo's slumber safari. The slumber safari includes up-close animal encounters, campfires and dinner. Wake up to breakfast, overlooking the savannah and then enjoy a walk around the zoo. The Open Range Zoo is famous for the natural beauty of its landscapes, including the African savannah, the Victorian basalt plains and grasslands to the hippopotamus marsh. And the zoo caters for all age groups and for people with disabilities and provides one of the most amazing wildlife discoveries this side of Africa. I think one of the highlights would have to be the African safari on board the brand new open air safari bus. The safari is included in your entry fee and departs regularly throughout the day. While on board, you'll be completely immersed in the sights, smells and sounds of the savannah as you travel across the zoo's open plains. On safari, you'll see rhinos, giraffes, zebras, antelopes and much more. Now that is an unforgettable experience. Don't forget, entry to the zoo is free for kids on weekends and school holidays. But our discovery has only just started. Let's keep moving, there's still lots more to explore. Next up is Shadowfax Winery. After such a busy morning on safari, I quite fancy a glass of wine and some lunch. And the perfect spot to do just that is Shadowfax Winery. It's just a short drive from the zoo, or if you are coming from Melbourne City, it's around 20 minutes by car. Shadowfax's unique architecture reflects an attempt to create harmony between the winery and its natural surroundings, making it the perfect spot to come and relax and enjoy a glass of wine. Whether you're just stopping in for a wine tasting, making a purchase at cellar door, having lunch or enjoying some weekend jazz, Shadowfax is the perfect destination to come with family and friends. For the restaurant menu, Shadowfax's resident chef uses only the finest and freshest ingredients, including vegetables and herbs from the kitchen garden. Now Elaine is going to take you to one of my favourite spots steeped in history and old world glamour. Enjoy. Hi, I'm Elaine, local tourism operator here at Werribee Park. Today I'm inside the magnificent Werribee Mansion, an historic building that showcases the sheer opulence of the 1880s and the mansion's late owners, the Chernside family. Taking three years to build, the mansion was completed in 1877 and remained in the hands of the Chernside family until 1922. At the time, Werribee Park Mansion was Victoria's largest and most elaborate private residence. When you come to the mansion, you can take a guided tour or a self-guided tour, it's up to you. There are 60 rooms to explore. My favourites would have to be the library, which was considered to be a male retreat and a place for the gentlemen in the house. The drawing room, which was the place where the guests were received and where the ladies withdrew after dinner. And the dining room, which was used for formal entertaining. Dame Nellie Melba was known to be one of the important guests to have dined at the 16-foot Pollard Oak dining table and finally the morning room, which was the family's informal dining space. This really is an extraordinary experience and makes for a great day out. But if you want to try something really different, why not come out here in the evening and experience one of our night tours? They bring the history of the Chernside family to life through live performance. Now I've got one final destination in today's discovery. Let's go check it out. Well, this is the final stop in today's discovery. We're at the Mansion Hotel and Spa, and it's the perfect retreat 
after a day out and about exploring our local attractions. The Mansion Hotel and Spa has been recognised as one of Victoria's premier accommodation venues and was awarded into the Victorian Tourism Hall of Fame for its services and contribution to tourism. The hotel has 91 guest rooms featuring the facilities and amenities you would expect of a luxury Victorian hotel. Personally, I'm a big fan of the wellbeing area with its 17 metre long indoor pool, spa and steam rooms. Or you could always indulge in a spa treatment with a range of diverse beauty therapies to reinvigorate the soul, body and mind. So whether you're a hotel guest or you just want to call in and use some of the facilities like the restaurant or spa, the Mansion Hotel and Spa really does add that touch of luxury to a day out discovering the local area. So that's the city of Wyndham. We've covered a lot. Whether you want to spend an hour or the whole day, there is something for everyone in Wyndham. We've only just scratched the surface. So next time you have a friend or relative coming to stay, take the time to have a look around Wyndham and discover some hidden gems of your own. <laughs>